Hey, Clonebot Zach here, and I'm going to use the new G3 Dream Girls to show you how to export target images. So let's grab Ting and throw in the scene, then let's go up to Animation, and let's choose some of the animation poses that came with the Dream Girls. So let's find the pose, and let's scroll down and find a good one. How about this one? This one looks nice. Oh yes, that's very nice. Alright, so let's go to Stage, 2D Background, then let's click the Active box to deactivate the background. Alright, then let's go to Export, Image, and let's choose the format we want. Notice we have several different formats, but we want to use Taga, so let's just go ahead and click that. Then let's go to the Advanced Controls, and let's click on 32-bit. Okay, now that we're ready, let's press Export. And let's name it something that we can remember, such as Team Pose 2, and save that. And there's our exported image. So let's switch over to Adobe Photoshop. So here we are in Adobe Photoshop, and I have my image of Ting the Dream Girl, and I want to go to Channels, and then Control select the Alpha channel. Then we're going to drag her over into the other image that I have, but first select this, the Move tool. Alright, so let's drag her over, drop her into the image. Now we can place her where we want. That looks like a good spot right about there. Then we can use the other tools and editing the tools that they have in Adobe Photoshop to better enhance our image. But all we really need to do is just add Halloween Party, and now we have an advertisement. Hey, I always thought it would be really, really cool to have a geisha help me give my PowerPoint presentations. So somewhere in my custom avatars, I have a geisha. There she is. So let's throw her in the scene. Let her load in real quick. All right, there she is. So let's go up to animation and let's choose one of the template animations such as, where is it? Presenting, there we go. So let's give her the presenting. Yeah, that looks pretty good, pretty good animation. So let's stop that. And then using the scroll tool here, we can choose the exact point where we want the timeline to end. But if we're a pro user, then we can always open up the timeline and choose the exact frame, the exact keyframe where we want the animation to end. All right. So, but we have standard uses, so let's just use this. And then let's go over to Stage, 2D Background, and let's remember to deactivate the background. Alright, so let's go to Export, and let's go to where is it? Image Sequence, and let's use GIF Animation. Alright, so let's go to the Advanced Controls, and let's say Transparency, that way the background will be transparent. Press OK, then let's change the size, we have several different sizes, but let's just use this size here. Wait for it to adjust, all right? Then we can choose the output range, but we already did so before, so you see it's 479, but we could always adjust it to 300, make it a little bit shorter, all right? And so let's go to export, all right? And so let's name the Geisha, and press save. And let's let it render out, there we go. And then here we have our GIF animation. So what we can quickly do now is open up Microsoft PowerPoint. Here we have my PowerPoint presentation. I go to insert picture from, from my files. Let's find my geisha real quick. There she is. And there we go. We now have my geisha. So we can just move her around, place her into the PowerPoint where we see right here. And then just start the PowerPoint presentation. And now you see I have a geisha helping me give my PowerPoint presentation. Really handy when it comes to presenting something to my boss. Alright, so here we have a Santa Claus, and we're going to give him some animation. Let's scroll down and find a really good one. Haha, <laughs> I like this one. Kick up heels. Alright, so here's Santa Claus. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Bing! Ta-da! Well done, Santa Claus! Alright, so now we're going to try to export this out as a sequence taga. But first things first is remember to deactivate the background. Alright, so we did that. Let's go to Export. Let's go to Image Sequence. And then instead of using GIF animation, let's use Taga Sequence. Then let's click on the Advanced Controls. Remember to click 32-bit. Press OK. And then let's change the size. Hmm, that looks like we're pretty good. 800 by 600. That should, that should be pretty good. So let's export that out. So let's find something to name it. Let's make sure you put in the right font and put in text. So let's name this so intelligently Santa. S-A-N-T-A. Very good. Alright, so let's let that render out. Alright, finished. So now let's switch over to Adobe Premiere Pro. So here we have a scene 
where the camera is scrolling around and you have a nice warm fireside uh, video. So what we would like to do is to add in our dancing Santa Claus. So let's go to the import and find Santa Claus. Start with the very first image and then click on the, here let me move this. Let me move this up so you can see that. Then you want to click on the number. Right? Make sure you click that box, then press open, and we have our Santa Claus. So let's drag and drop him into the timeline. Alright, and so let's play back and watch what happens. Timeline set just right. There we go. Alright, so we have our dancing Santa Claus doing his little dance. There you go. That's how you do it. So here's a scene that I constructed using the new Stage Magician props. So here we have cuboids, we have cylinders, we have planes, plane masks, we have stage lights, stage props, many different types of new props that came with that package. I'm also going to use one of the new G3 Dream Girls, I'm going to add in Camilla. Hmm, hi Camilla, that's a nice hat you got. Alright, so let's go to animation, and let's use some of the animation that also came with the Dream Girl pack, and let's go to perform, and let's go to hot dance, and let's choose whip dance since Camilla has a whip. So, add that into the scene. And uh, yeah, that's very nice. Those are some really cool stage magician props, right? <clears throat> All right, let's stop that. So let's go to export and video. And finally, I'm gonna tell you about all the tools on the modify tab. So here you can choose the different types of formats, but we're just gonna choose AVI. And then we have the output size. So we have several different types of standard sizes. As you can see, we have YouTube, we have high definition, we have several different kinds. So you can choose whichever standard type you want, the standard size, or you can just create your own custom size. Not a problem, right? We also have Pixel Aspect. Now, I don't really use Pixel Aspect much, but some users will need to have higher pixels or lower pixels depending on the size of the project. All right, so let's look at render quality. So we have preview, we have final render, we also have anti-aliasing, we also can render hidden objects. So we can choose to render, render the hidden objects by clicking the box or we can deselect it and have the render objects not be rendered. Alright, so we have also the output range so you can choose all or you can create a range. So here we can manually choose the range if we're a standard user by scrolling down along the timeline there or we can choose it by scrolling along this, choosing which range we want. Or if we're pro users, we can always open up the timeline editor and find the more precise location that we want our, which keyframe we want. Okay, so then we have the frame rate, so you can increase it or you can decrease the frame rate depending on how much animation uh, action you want to have or how quickly you want the action to run. So let's press export when we're ready. And it should come up, there we go. And we should name it something that we'll remember, such as Dance, Cool Dance, that sounds pretty good. Alright, and let's save that. Okay, so it's going to come up to render, press OK, and there it goes, starts to render. Alright, and it renders out, and here we are in Windows Movie Play or excuse me, Windows Media Player, and now you can see our rendered video. Alright, here's a video of a samurai relaxing at a temple in Japan. I want to export this and share it with my friends. One way to do it is with Flash, so that way I can embed it into a website. So let's get started by going to Export, Video, and then let's choose the format, and let's choose Flash Video. Alright, so under Output Size, we always still have the standard sizes, however with Flash Video, we have fewer choices. But let's just go with the standard size of mm, 320 by 240. Might be a little bit small, but it's up to you however large you want it to be. And this is just an example, so I'll just choose a small size. So let's move on to the advanced controls. And here we can enhance the video quality, make it lower or higher. Or you can also do the same thing with the audio quality, make it lower or higher. And if you want to embed it into another website, make sure you click the Produce HTML page. Alright, so let's export it. And then let's name it something Samurai. That's a good one. Samurai Flash Video. And let's save it to the desktop. Okay, so let it render out, and there it is. All right, rendered out, and here is the Flash version of it, so you can play it here. Pretty cool. And up top, you can see the the URL for the for whenever I want to embed it into whatever website. Okay.
So that's how you do that. All right, have fun and enjoy rendering and outputting all your videos.